Okay, in this video, we're going to use our four-step problem-solving procedure to do some problems involving complementary and supplementary angles. Now, complementary angles are angles whose measures add up to 90 degrees. And you can see in this picture right here, I've got a right angle, and it's divided into two angles, angle one and angle two. So since I know right angles equal to 90 degrees, then angle one and angle two must add up to 90 degrees, which means angle one and angle two are complementary which is equivalent to saying the measure of angle one plus the measure of angle two equals 90 degrees. Now note, I could have also drawn a picture that looked something like this. Say I've got this angle that's 60 degrees and I've got another angle over here that is 30 degrees. Now this is also a pair of complementary angles even though they're not adjacent the way these two angles are. Since these two angles, since their measures add up to 90 degrees, these two angles are also complementary. All right, so let's take a look at some example problems involving complementary angles. Example number one. In this picture, the measure of angle one equals x plus eight, the measure of angle two equals x plus two. Find x and the measure of angle two. So step one is to draw and label my picture. Well, my picture's already drawn for me, so I got that one. I need to label my picture. The measure of angle 1 is x plus 8. So let me put that in. The measure of angle 2 is x plus 2. Okay, so I've got my picture labeled. Now steps 2 and 3 are to set up and solve my equation. Well, I'm going to use what I know about complementary angles in order to set up my equation. So my knowledge about complementary angles is kind of like a problem-solving tool that I'm going to use to set up my equation. So since I know angle 1 and angle 2 add up to 90 degrees, they're complementary, then I can say the measure of angle 1 plus the measure of angle 2 equals 90 degrees. And this is the measure of angle 1 right here. This is the measure of angle 2 right here. They equal 90 degrees. Well, now I just need to, I've got my equation set up. Now I just need to solve it. So let's see. Collect like terms here. That's 2x. Collect like terms here. 8 and 2 is 10. Subtract 10 from both sides. My 10s go away here. And I've got 2x equals 80. Divide both sides by 2. And I've got x equals 40. Now I just need to ask myself, am I done? Well, let's see. I found x. I need to also find the measure of angle 2. So let's see. The measure of angle 2 is x plus 2. I know what x is. I just found it. So I substitute 40 in for x. And now I know the measure of angle 2 is 42. And now I'm done. Example number 2. Angle 5 is the complement of angle 6. If the measure of angle 5 equals 2x minus 4 and the measure of angle 6 equals x plus 16, find x and the measure of angle 6. All right, so step 1. I need to draw and label my picture. So let's see. Angle 5 is the complement of angle 6. That's just another way of saying that angle 5 and angle 6 are complementary angles. So let me draw a pair of complementary angles. That angle 5 and angle 6, okay. Now I need to label them. The measure of angle 5 is 2x minus 4. 2x minus 4. Measure of angle 6, x plus 16. All right, now I've got it labeled. Now I need to set up and solve my equation. Since I know angle 5 and angle 6 are complementary, that means that the sum of their measures must be equal to 90. So now I've set up my equation. Now I just need to solve it. Collect like terms here, 2x and x, that's 3x. 
let's see, negative 4 and positive 16, that's going to be positive 12. Subtract 12 from both sides. For my 12 to go away, I've got 10 minus 2 is 8. 8 minus 1 is 7. And I divide both sides by 3. Let's see, 78 divided by 3. 26. So our x equals 26. So I solved my equation. And finally, step 4, am I done? Let's see, find x. Ah, I need to find the measure of angle 6. Let's see, angle 6 is x plus 16. I know what x is because I just found it over here. So I substitute 26 in for x here. And let's see, 6 and 6 is 12, 2, 3, so that makes that 42. And now I'm done. Okay, supplementary angles. Supplementary angles are angles whose measures add to 180. And in your notes, you already have a picture of two supplementary angles that looks like this, and that is one way of drawing supplementary angles. Another way is I could draw two angles that are supplementary but that are not necessarily adjacent to each other. So let's say I've got one angle here that's 110 degrees, and I've got another angle that is, let's say, 70 degrees. Well, these two angles, since they're measures, add up to 180 degrees, 110 plus 70 is 180 degrees, these two angles are also supplementary angles. So that's another way of drawing supplementary angles. This type of angle, which is drawn again down here, this is a particular type of supplementary angles. They're called linear pair angles. And linear pair angles are just two angles that are not only supplementary, but they're also adjacent, which means they're right next to each other. So these two angles together add up to 180 degrees. All right, so let's look at a couple of examples involving supplementary angles. Example number three. In the picture, the measure of angle 1 equals 6x plus 20, and the measure of angle 2 equals 2x. Find x and the measure of angle 1. Okay. Step 1, draw and label a picture. Well, my picture is already drawn for me, so I got that. Label the picture. Measure of angle 1 is 6x plus 20. Measure of angle 2 is 2x. Okay, I've got my picture labeled. Steps 2, actually this is steps 2 and 3. Set up and solve an equation. All right, so now I'm going to use what I know about supplementary angles to set up my equation. So my knowledge about supplementary angles is kind of a problem-solving tool for me here. Since I know that supplementary angles add up to 180 degrees, then I know that the measure of angle 1 plus the measure of angle 2 equals 180 degrees. Well, the measure of angle 1 is 6x plus 20. The measure of angle 2 is 2x. So I add those together and set those equal to 180. Now I've set up my equation. Now I just need to solve it. Collect like terms. That gives me 8x plus 20 equals 180. Subtract 20 from both sides. My 20s go away here, and I've got 8x equals 160. And if I divide both sides by 8, that gives me x equals 20. So now I've solved my equation. Step 4, am I done? Let's see. Find x. I got x. Measure of angle 1. So measure of angle 1 equals... 6x plus 20, and I know what x is because I just found it here, so I plug in 20 for x, six times 20 is 120 plus 20, that means the measure of angle 1 is 140 degrees. 
now I'm done. Okay, example number four. Angle three and angle four are a linear pair. The measure of angle three is 2x minus 5. The measure of angle four is 3x plus 45. Find x and the measure of angle four. Okay, step one, I need to draw and label my picture. Angle three and angle four are a linear pair. So I need to draw a linear pair. Let's make this one look like this. I'll call that angle three and I'll call that angle four. So I've drawn my picture. Okay, I need to label it. Measure of angle three is 2x minus 5. <clears throat> Measure of angle 4, 3x plus 45. Okay, so now I've got my picture drawn and labeled. Now I'm ready for step 2, which is to set up my equation. Well, I'm going to use what I know about linear pair angles to set up my equation, and what I know about linear pair angles is that the measure of a linear pair of angles, if you add those two measures together, that equals 180 degrees. So, the measure of angle 3 is 2x minus 5, plus the measure of angle 4 is 3x plus 45, and that equals 180. So now I've got step 2. I need to do step 3, which is to solve my equation. So, collect like terms. That gives me 5x. Let's see, negative 5, positive 45, that gives me positive 40, equals 180. Subtract 40 from both sides. My 40s go away here. 180 minus 40 is 140. Now I need to divide both sides by 5. Let's see, 140 divided by 5, 18, 28. So x is equal to 28. So now I've solved my equation. I found x. Now I need to do step 4, which says, am I done? And I'm not done because I need to find the measure of angle 4. And let's see. The measure of angle 4 is 3x plus 45. I know what x is, so I can plug that in. x is 28. 3 times 28 plus 45. Let's see, 3 times 28, 24, 6, 8. So that's 84 plus 45. And 84 plus 45 is 129. And now I'm done. Now, in your notes, you have an example number five, and I want you to try that one on your own. Example number five uh, is a little bit, uh, it has a little kind of extra twist thrown into it. You're actually uh, solving a problem in which you don't have a linear pair of angles because you actually have something like this, except it's divided into three angles. So I want you to try that one out, and we'll take a look at that one tomorrow when we go over the problems.